Oh, also in other news, I was randomly. <laughs> You, are you guys okay? Are you guys okay? Okay, so today is Thursday, which means it's my last day of classes for the week. I have three classes, they're all back to back, and they're not so bad, it's all the classes that I don't mind going to. However, I do have a date with my girlfriend after my classes, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but first things first, I have to get done with all my main priorities first, before I can enjoy my time with my girlfriend, so let's get to it. But also, I had McDonald's last night. I'm really starting to regret it now. I am, oof, that toilet, destroyed. Anyways, that's a little bit TMI, but yeah, it's, it's it's rough right now. My stomach's feeling rough. I'm gonna go to my final class of the day, which is my calm writing class. And it's the one I eat. Wrong door. And I never look forward to this class ever. But we're gonna go. Okay, so I'm back from my classes and now I'm gonna go straight to the gym because I only have like an hour exactly to work out because my girlfriend comes over at 7 and it's currently 5.30 right now. It takes like 15 minutes to get to the gym. I don't have a lot of time, so I gotta get going. Well, the date's over and I have an apology to make to you guys. I was gonna plan on trying to vlog some of it, but then I just got carried away of spending too much like spending time with her. And I forgot to pick up my camera back up again, so I did not vlog any of it. Uh I'm sorry about that. I just really like forget to vlog when I'm around her just because I'm so focused on like being present with her. And nothing else is really going through my brain besides, you know, trying to be with her and just little trying to spend time with her and just, you know, be with her during that moment, not having the cameras. So that's the reason why I don't really vlog that much when I'm around with her. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it that way. I kinda wanna keep, you know, those two lives very separate. Or, you know, when I can, because I think there's a time and place to pick up the vlog camera when there's not. And that wasn't really a time and place to pick it up because it was a date. I just want to be there with her. And as much as I want to bring you guys on with my date with me, I just, that's a special moment between me and her. Anyways, though, enough, enough about me gushing. I was, it was a really good date. Um, we basically, sorry, I'm going to gush a little bit, but... Basically, we did like a little skincare date and also she did like a mud mask for my face. I don't think you can see the difference, but it feels softer. And also, uh, we watched the new episode of a show we've been, you know, watching lately. Try to guess the show in the comments below. I'm not going to confirm or deny it, but uh, <laughs> it's been really great. I love spending time with her and yeah, it's just very, very, very good day overall. But this vlog is a little too short for my liking, so I'm gonna fill it up with a Q&A. It's gonna be a two-part Q&A because I was actually planning on 
doing a full Q&A tomorrow, but instead I'll just like split up in two days because you guys asked a lot, and I mean a lot of questions. So I'm gonna dive into it right now. I'm just gonna answer the ones I can right now. So I'm gonna go through like maybe half of them, maybe less. So let's just get into it. The first question comes from Clem Campbells and he asked, would you consider doing this full time if you ever had the chance? And if so, what direction do you think you would take the vlog? Good question. I would definitely take the vlog like full time if I can. And if this can support me full time as a job, I would love that. That's my end goal. Like that's literally me achieving my dream, doing this full time and making a living off of it. So if I can do that, I've achieved my dream. But if I were to do that, I would take the vlog in the direction of, you know, traveling more, going to events more, speaking at events if I can. That'd be really cool to do. And just maybe spreading a positive message around and just making this vlog maybe more of not so much about myself, about other people though, about like me helping other people, me, you know, using this channel as an outlet to help, to lift others up. Next question comes from Ethan Taylor 1844 and he, they asked, how do you discipline yourself to be productive when you don't feel it, like it, and or would rather sleep and prioritize mental health? Well, first of all, mental health is my main priority no matter what. If I am feeling like complete, like just unmotivated and just I don't want to do anything, I will use that time to rest. I will listen to what my body wants. If my body tells me to rest, I'm going to rest. I don't always just like go, 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 go all the time. There's times where I just don't feel like doing anything. And those are the times I'm just like on my bed on my phone. And as much as that sounds, you know, unproductive and just unhealthy, that's very rare for me to do. That's only during the times when I really have nothing to be doing and just, I know I can be resting. But when I know I can't be resting, I'm just go, 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 go all the time until I just feel the need to rest. So that's how I stay productive all the time. I just listen to my body. So Ethan Taylor also asked another question and they asked, do you feel more excited for or fearful of the future? either your personal future or that of the world with the state of the climate crisis, politics, war conflict, etc. That's a loaded question. I try not to think about, you know, all that stuff too much because it's just, it's just depressing stuff to think about. Of course, I'm still aware of it and I don't to totally disregard it. I'm still aware of like current events and all that, but I try to keep that out of my life as much as possible just because I don't want that hanging over my shoulder and just, I don't want to, think of the world in a negative light like that. I try to, you know, look at things from a positive point of view. And that's how I stay positive most of the time. But I'm very excited for the future. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I don't fear the future at all because the future is inevitable. There's nothing I can do about it. It's just a, something that's gonna come at me, whether I'm ready for it or not. And the best thing for me to do is just to accept it and to just live in the present not to you know dwell on the future too much or dwell on the past too much. It's just to be in the moment at all times. Okay, Ethan Taylor asked another. I'm just gonna answer like all of this. Um, I'm gonna answer all of the subscribers questions right now. And this will be the last one I answer for today. But they asked, have you ever experienced loneliness to a significant extent? If so, what do you feel like it taught you about yourself? That was all of season one of the vlog. So um, every, time I did a video essay or, you know, one of those pillow talks, that was kind of me expressing what I was feeling at that time. So I think my approach to loneliness is just, I accept it because I think loneliness is a good thing. I think it teaches you how to be independent. Loneliness teaches you how to be by yourself and be okay with it. And that's something a lot of people have trouble tackling or have trouble dealing with just because it's such a scary thing and it's such an embarrassing thing to some people too about, you know, just being alone or lonely. But I think people need to understand that being lonely is okay. It happens to everyone. You're not always gonna be surrounded by people at all times. There are gonna be times where you have to be by yourself and you have to know what to do during that, those times by yourself. And that's when I learned to make these vlogs also, or to, you know, better edit my videos. And I used all that loneliness to just, I used my feelings of loneliness 
and turn it into a tool for me to excel myself and to also learn more things about myself. Okay, that was a bit of a long Q&A, I apologize. Um, but there's still a lot more questions I have to get into, so I will be answering those tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow for part two of this Q&A. I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't vlog too much of today. It was just so hectic. But I'm gonna be seeing my girlfriend again tomorrow for lunch. I'm really looking forward to that. I, I, I talked about it too much of the vlog already. I'm gonna stop. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.